So we just got another rock. Somebody who wants to sell their diamond. And God is taking a look. What do you think, God? Okay, it's a nice, it's a nice rock. It's a cushion, 454 ESA2. But it comes with an IGL certificate in International Gemological Laboratories. This is a laboratory that we're not familiar with, which means we need to verify that everything they think about the diamond is correct. Let's start with the weight. Confirm that it is a 4... 54, and that is correct. The next thing we're gonna do is check the color. And the way to check out the color is we're gonna put it upside down. Bring it here, that special light we have, which is as close as possible as you can get to a daylight. And I'm opening my master stones. They claim it's an E. It looks pretty colorless. And I'll take an F. Here's my F next to their E. And my F actually looks more colorless than what they're calling an E. And I'll take an H. And even with the H, the diamond shows that 454 shows a little bit more color than our H. And next to the J, we're starting to see some similarities. So, wow, I can't believe it. Calling, such, it, calling such a it an E, yeah. yeah. So not all laboratories are the same. Not at all. We trust only one laboratory called GIA, Gemological Institute of America. GIA is not just a laboratory, it's also a school. Yeah. It's a gemological school. It's the school that I attended to back in, in the 80s. So here, when it comes to the color, mm -hmm. I'm seeing high color. Wow, what a difference between... From E to yeah, I. Yeah, from E to I. So it makes a big difference in the price. Huge. So actually, the person who wants to sell the diamond thinks it's an E, and now, he doesn't know, they don't know. Some yeah. people do and yeah. some people don't. Some people know that what they have in their hand mm. is not the real thing. Mm. And they're trying to pretend that it is because they want to get more money. And some people, unfortunately, just don't know. They don't they know. Don't know. They yeah. bought it as an ESA too. They have no idea. They trusted a jeweler. And that's very sad because sometimes they charge him so much more for something that is not. So that's very sad. And we see it quite often. So next thing is I'm going to look with my loop and I'm going to check for fluorescence. It says none here. This is my ultraviolet light. There's no traces of fluorescence here, so that's okay. What does it do, that light? It well, this light is ultraviolet light. So mm -hmm. if the diamond is fluorescence, the ultraviolet light triggers the fluorescence and it will glow. But this one does not have any. If it has a lot of fluorescence, it could face up and appear milky. So now I'm going to use my 10, 10 power loop and examining the diamonds on the inside, looking for inclusions that I see a lot of them and trying to figure out what, what the clarity is. Their, their claim here, SI2. My experience tells me that the diamond is I1, meaning it's one grade less than SI2. It's imperfect one. 454 carat, that's the only thing that is right about this, but I will evaluate it as an eye color, an eye one, and I'll make them an offer. As soon as we buy, we'll send it to a GIA for a full certification, so there's no doubt. So overall, it's a good diamond, and, and somebody would love it. The only thing, it just doesn't match the current uh, certificate, and it needs to be recertified, that's what you're saying, right? Correct. Yeah.